Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today I am working on a few more items for the craft shows that I'm doing. I found in my stash 10 of these chunky wooden crosses. I thought that I would create some pocket prayer quilts. I came up with two prototypes. This is where the end is finished. Like that. The second one is this one with the pinking shear around. And I kind of am leaning towards that one. And it looks like this on the back. This I could make really quick and then attach the prayer and I would attach it with these cute pins. I would attach the prayer reminder with this pin. I think that would be really cute. I like the idea that these are chunky but I'm also making them so that it looks like the squares are finished but this way I can just tuck the cross right in there and then I'm going to take some embroidery thread and just tie that shut where it opens. I'll show you when I make one but these will go together really quickly. I think this one is too big though. I cut it at four inch squares. I think I want to take it down to three and a half inch. And it will match this more, I think. I have um, a tiny ruler by OmniGrid. I've got these printed off, the prayer quilt reminder. I have a ton of fabrics to get through. So I could pick all kinds of fabrics. I've got my iron nearby. Rulers. Let's get started on this project. And I just put some painter's tape on so that I would know where my three and a half square is. Because this is a four inch ruler. I'm just going to take some time and cut out some three and a half inch squares just out of my fabric stash. For each one, you will need the backing, whatever you want the backing to be. You will need, and then you'll need four three and a half inch squares. So total, you'll need five three and one half inch squares. I'm going to go and cut out five squares so that I can show you how we're making this. I marked off my ruler so that I would know where three and a half is so that I can just lay it on my fabric and cut a bunch at a time. Just like that. I'm cutting my fifth piece of the three and a half inch square. So we have five pieces. This will be the backing. This will be the four patch. 
and all I will do, and I don't mind that this is the same as this. Remember, this is a scrap busting project. It will be just fine. All right, so I'm going to fold each one in half and press. Do that to each square. I really like the combination that I found in the scrap pile. Look at this beautiful fabric. I just love that. I believe you could do these really, really quick. I've got 10 crosses, so I'm hoping to get 10 of these done today and packaged. So I'm placing the right side down. Then I'm going to place this folded one with the finished edge down. That's on the top. Then this one will come here and it has to be the finished edge. The raw edge will be on the outside. And then this one will lay on top like this. This one is something just a little different. Just pick this up, tuck this under, and there you have a cute little four patch. And I think that that will be fine. Next, grab some clips, clip the edges, Clip the edges. Just to keep it together. There's not a lot of bulk, so I don't see why we would need like a walking foot or anything like that. We are going to sew all the way around with a half inch seam allowance. Once I have that done, I'll be back. Hopefully you can see it. I've sewn all the way around a half inch seam allowance. We'll snip off those threads. In my second rotary cutter, I keep a pinking blade in there so that I don't have to pull out the scissors and it's a lot easier. And then I'll just grab, I'll just grab this and go about a quarter 
inch. And I may need a new blade. And just like that. And we'll do that all the way around. And it gives it that country look that I like. These have no batting. There's no turning in and out. And if you own, and if you only have picking shears, the scissors, definitely use them. There we go. I got a piece of thread right there. What we want to do next is add a little embroidery thread. I think this is pretty. I think that would bring it all together. But before we do that, we should probably put our cross in, and I'll show you how I'm putting the cross in. Let me bring you in closer. I'm taking the cross, tucking it in any side, move it around until it is hidden. And I can feel it in there. I'm just going to grab an embroidery needle such. I'm going to go from this side over to this side. Just do a quick tie. Just snip. And then if you wanted, you could separate the strands. Like that. And you could even take it to the other side and do a double. Why don't we try that? Let's see if we can use this little piece. Grab that, pull that. 
we may be able to use this and then come in from over here I think that'll be fine there we go There we go, and we have a double knot. And then we'll just snip that so it's kind of even with the others. I love it. So cute. Then we'll take our prayer quilt guide. And just put it, put this in the back. And there we have it. There. How adorable is that? I really like these. Once I get the other nine done, <laughs> I will be back to show you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Again, I cut out three and a half inch squares. I did a one half inch seam allowance all the way around and then I snipped a quarter inch with the pinking scissors or you could use the rotary cutter and you need five pieces of the three and a half inch squares. I'll be back to show you. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you, I've got all of my squares cut from my scraps and I have so many scraps left over, but that's good because I've got some projects coming up. But I just wanted to show you these beautiful scraps that I have. Isn't that pretty? So I will mix them up. I'll put them in stacks of five. I think that is pretty. So country looking. Look at the roses. But I just wanted to show you the fabrics that I'll be using. And I'll have to mix them up. But I just had to show you that. Well, friends, they are all finished, and I think they turned out so cute. So I'll show you each one. You can let me know what you think. And then here's the back. And then I picked different colors for the embroidery thread, and then I just used the little pin. And I didn't really match up like I could have, but I think it all works. I really like this one with the pinks. And I used a decorative thread or a decorative stitch on this. And it was accidental, but I think it really turned out nice as well. There's this one. This one. I love this fabric here. 
think this one turned out nice. And then I wanted to show you another option would be to use your serger to go around. So I just used the serger on that one. So I thought that that was a nifty idea too if you really need to get a bunch of them out. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this technique to make them. I hope that you make some. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. I'll try to help the best I can. Thank you so much for watching my video. And until the next video, God bless. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so that you never miss a video. And if you're returning, thank you so much. And if you have found value in this video, please like and comment.